I was younger, like middle school. I used to curse, but not a lot. And it was mostly because like I heard other people cursing and my parents and everything. Recently, I cursed in front of my parents a lot now, now that I'm older. And they don't really say anything anymore because like they're used to it, I guess. And they're like, they assume since I'm of age or whatever. I'm really trying to stop because it's become a really big habit. And I know it's not like a good thing to keep cursing. Um, I think it's difficult for me to stop cursing because like it's become such a big habit and I've used it so much like in my life and like when I'm mad it just comes out because like I can't really help it anymore. If I keep cursing a lot it's gonna affect my life like with, if I go to get a job and I'm trying to be business like it'll just like ruin everything if I end up cursing. Well one time I used cursing like against my mom like she really got me mad and like I cursed her off pretty bad and later on I found out that I really hurt her and I made her cry and like I felt really bad about it and I apologized and everything but like it's been stuck with me and I guess that's another reason why I'm trying to stop. Well most kids usually curse when they're younger but now that I'm mature I realize it's very disrespectful towards other people and like my stepfather says that it's not like ladylike. My best friend Lorena she used to curse a lot Recently, she's stopping because I guess she's maturing and everything, and she realized it's not good. <laughs> she's kind of getting me to stop too, and I was talking to her about it, and she was telling me how it would be better if I didn't curse. Since she stopped cursing, she seems more mature now, and she like understands everything. And like, I, I realized from seeing her and like everything she does, like when she's mad, she doesn't curse and she doesn't curse in front of other people. And it really helps me like want to stop cursing. I agree with Nina that people who appear to be more mature when they express themselves without using curse words. I agree. In fact, PM Forney, author of Choosing Civility, The 25 Rules of Considerate Conduct says that, One of the consequences of excessive swearing is the inability to articulate. The profanities are the fillers. They take the place of a more sophisticated way of speaking. So why do you think we curse? Teenagers curse to be cool, to, to like hang with their friends and stuff. But with me, like it, I got, just kind of used it just to go with it. Like it was just something that came up and it gradually became part of my vocabulary. And at times it'll slip out at really bad times. Like in the worst possible moment, like a curse will slip out and I'll be like, and then, like, my parents will just give me that look, like, you know, the look where they just kind of look at you like, you're so going to get it after this. And, and then I'm like, help. And then <laughs> Kids try to be cool, and I know that's what happened with me. As soon as I got into, like, high school, I wanted to be cool and I wanted to fit in. But then I realized that being cool is being different. So if everybody's cursing and I'm cursing too, that's not cool because I sound dumb and I'm not dumb. And then my, my younger sibling started cursing, so that wasn't good because my sister was cursing all the time and she started cursing in the house, so we should try to not do it. Yeah, I think kids curse because of things around them like movies and, you know, their parents maybe or friends curse, so they feel that they need, they need to curse. And I see that when kids curse, they curse at the younger sibling, maybe two or three, I've seen that happen. And that's not a good thing because at age two and three, you're starting to learn how to speak. Mm -hmm. When you have curse words, and you know, in your life, you pick up on that, and therefore they start to curse as a young child. Well, um, last year, I got into my first car accident, and it wasn't my fault at all, um, <laughs> just to say, I'm a very good driver. <laughs> but um, when the guy got out of his car, I was really mad because I found out he was on his phone while he was driving, which is against the law. And I just like, don't know what happened, because I don't usually curse, but I was swearing left and right because I was so angry. It was like a month after I got my license and I was just like, are you kidding me? I was in the room where two of my friends were cursing out their parents. And I mean, th these were some heavy duty cursings. And I'm, I'm, I'm watching this and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, they're embarrassing their parents and they're embarrassing themselves because for someone to disrespect their parents by cursing at them and, and in front of all their friends, I mean, that, that makes people think that you don't have respect for your parents. And that's a relationship that you want people to think is strong. And it really made me go home and think about how I talk to my, talk to my parents. I, I would probably be very, very regretful if I tried to curse my mother or father. But at the same time, at the end, I think to myself, I don't curse my parents, but I would never want to because it wouldn't be the consequences of the action, but it would be how I would feel that I had the audacity to do that to my parents. Yeah, I kind of have like the opposite story. I saw 
a parent cursing at their child. And just to like see the kid's face and like, she went away crying and um, I know like how hurtful it is and I would never want to do that to somebody. I wouldn't want to be like spoken to that way so I'm not gonna speak to anyone else that way. What we say and what we do show people who we are. If we are constantly using profane language, what does that say about us? Is it who we really are or is it who we really want to be? Or are we victims of a culture that appears to accept this type of language and much of the music we listen to? And the movies and television shows we watch. Next, let's go back to the teens on the street and find out how they feel about people who swear. And if it bothers them to hear cursing in movies and on television. Let's check it out. How do you feel about people who swear? It's whatever. I mean, I think people should do whatever they want. I don't really care. It's not the worst thing in the world, but, you know, you should try to be more respectful of other people around you. I feel that people who swear are, like, kind of trashy almost, and they don't, it doesn't look good for them. No, it doesn't bother me at all. I, I like, like it. I feel that it's them saying the curse, not me, so I shouldn't judge them on how they speak. I guess it's their choice. I mean... However, whatever they believe. I don't hold anything against them, but I think it really just makes it sound stupid if you swear. I have no problem with them, really. You know, like, if it's excessive and unnecessary, then, like, yeah, it's like you kind of see through them. Sometimes it's really disgusting when they do, and it's rude, I think, sometimes. So that's hypocritical, there you go. But I don't like it when other people curse. I think it's wrong to swear and stuff, like, but... I mean, I don't know, I do it too, so I guess I'm being a hypocrite if I say it's bad, but, like, I don't think people should do it. Does it bother you to hear cursing in movies, television, the music, or other media? Well, I think they're setting a bad example when they do that. If it's, like, really bad, like, non-stop, it's, like, bothers me, but if it's, like, a word here and there, it's not gonna, like, it's not, like, that bad. Not really. <laughs> it's just normal, I guess. Sometimes when it's on the radio, like XM radio, how they don't have to block it out, I think that's kind of bad because I think kids listen to it, but in movies, I don't really mind. Like in rap music and stuff like that, I think it's really offensive a lot of times. I try not to listen to that too very much, but it doesn't really, like you hear it so often, it doesn't really bother me too much. But when it's excessive, I think it's definitely a problem. Yeah, because my little siblings can be watching that movie or watching that TV and I don't want them hearing anything like that. Yeah, sometimes like in music especially, like they use too much curse words. Like once in a while I guess it's okay maybe, but like for every single word they just have to put like F, F, F. So that's, I don't like that. Um, it does bother me when I hear cursing, excessive cursing in movies and music. Um, but I also believe in freedom of speech. I don't believe in censorship. And I think that if that's the way you're going to express yourself, however negative I may feel it is, then that's your choice. For me, it's like, there's a point where it's like too much. Like, if you're around your friends and it's like, you know, one or two words, like, for like the whole day. But when there's like, it's like every other word out of their mouth, it's like, all right, a little much, bro. Like, <laughs> chill out a little bit. I agree with both of you. I mean, you have the freedom to listen to whatever you want, and you have the freedom to not listen to that as well. And my sister has like this obsession with that new Drake song, and I like the edited version. It's just as good as the other one, and it doesn't have all those curse words. So it's just it's what you want to listen to and how people express themselves. Yeah, I agree. I once heard a song, and it was a really good song, really great. Like, and I don't mind cursing in songs sometimes, but like. As the song went on, like it got to the middle point, and they just emphasized this one curse word. It was just like calm, 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 blank, calm, calm, calm. And I was like, the whole the whole thing got ruined just by that one word. It was just that one word that they made such a big point of it. Like it ruined it, it completely ruined it for me. I really worry on what effect it's going to have on the younger society, just because it's all over the place. And like younger audience, like my little brother, he listens to the music with the curses in it, and I just don't know what effect it's gonna have on him and all his friends. You're like my little brother, I really don't want him listening to like that kind of music because it's really bad. Why should they have to use profane language to get their point across? Like it doesn't make any sense. Like you can say the same exact thing without putting all those bad words in it and it'll still maybe have the same effect. So